Excellent. Now, I really think you should try a little canard. Target at 400,000 kilometers and closing. Shields at maximum. Maintain scan. Engineering and tactical ready. Demar, set another target. We'll test our new weapon as soon as the Major's ready. We've reached their hull. Their impulse engines are down. They're adrift. Excellent. Perhaps I should go help her. Klingon technology is... Odd. Good idea. Hang on, Zial helps on the way. Understood. Consider it payment in full for the use of my vessel. Maybe after the mission. After the mission, you'll all be dead. Damar. You should ask Ducat for some shore leave. I think you've been in space too long. <laughs> Why? Because I'm willing to spill a little Klingon blood to get the job done? Shelling Tiger Corps won't get the job done. First, we reclaim Terok Nor. Then, onto Bajor. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Or must I remind you the Dominion just signed a non-aggression pact with Bajor? This is a great victory for Cardassia. And the Dominion. What's the matter, Dukat? Afraid we'll take the station away from you again? You're welcome to try. The Bajorans will never be our allies. Out! Don't look at him. I'm telling you to leave. Now! What do you want? From Gul Dukat. For some reason, he thought you would enjoy having me deliver it to you. What is it? A gift for the party tonight. There he is. Damar's a creature of habit, all right? After a hard day at work, he deserves his glass of Kanar. In it, he speculates that without the drug, the Jemadar will run amok, killing everyone and everything in their path. Get out of my way! Oh. Do you know where he is? Yes. It's good. It's good to know where your boss is. He's in his quarters with the other shapeshifter. Ducat wasn't happy about what happened. I had to find a way to make it up to him. Well. Over something big. Well, let's just say it will change the course of history. I just shared a bottle of Canar with Damar. <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> You're drunk. Of course I'm drunk. Well, well. What do we have here? That attitude of yours, Major. It won't be tolerated forever. You don't like my attitude, Damar. You're welcome to try to change it. You're a credit to your race, Quark. Unlike your brother, you've chosen to back the winning side. One week, and the Alpha Quadrant is ours. I should speak to you with greater respect. <laughs> Someday, I'll let you teach him that lesson. But right now, there's something more pressing I need you to do. If we show any sign of weakness, our allies will turn on us. That is why we must all help him remain strong. So I ask you to be a true daughter of Cardassia and stand beside him. And it's your duty to repay him. Now come with me. Let her go. And if I don't, what happens then? I was hoping you'd ask. What about Ziel? Did you talk to her? She doesn't want to see you. When I insisted, the Major objected. What did you do to Ziel? I did nothing to her. Then why did the Major attack you? I'd like to toss that smug little Vort out the nearest airlock. <laughs> and just found her with him. Now, now, Dumas, that's no way to talk about our valued allies. She doesn't appreciate what it means to be Cardassian or to be your daughter. But she is my daughter. That may mean nothing to you, but it means everything to me. Go ahead, Major. Try something. Nothing would make me happier.
You've nothing to hide, do you? You certainly don't. 200 enemy ships have broken through our lines. They're headed this way. Time to start packing. Wasting your time! Ramanan! She won't go with you! She's a traitor! The last ship was waiting for us! Sial. Who's he? It's Damar, the new head of the Cardassian government. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. He's sad. Ashamed is more like it. From this position you say that? Shh. Yes, I vow with my life's blood. For my sons. For all our sons. You're welcome to play your little we're all friends here game with me, but I wouldn't try it with Captain Sisko. He's not in the mood. We're on a mission of peace, Major. Maybe he should get in the mood. And to think only a short time ago you were nothing more than Gold Ducat's adjutant. I appreciate the faith you've shown in me. Then show some faith in me. This is ridiculous. Sneaking into a storage bay for a secret meeting. I'm not some agent of the Obsidian Order. I'm the leader of the Cardassian Empire. Don't let it go to your head. You serve only at the Dominion's pleasure. Besides, I think it's exciting. These are our new unmanned orbital weapon platforms. Their hulls are protected by regenerative force fields, and their arsenals consist of a thousand plasma torpedoes. I like them. I thought you would. Pains me to say this, but you Cardassians are proving to be quite a disappointment. I'll remind you that you said that. All this talk of God strikes me as nothing more than superstitious nonsense. You believe that the Founders are gods, don't you? That's different. <laughs> In what way? The Founders are gods. I wouldn't trust a Cardassian that didn't enjoy a glass of Canar every once in a while. Tell me, Damar, when you're alone, do you even bother with a glass, or do you just drink that swill directly from the bottle? Depends on my mood. Celestial battle. It's fascinating. I never realized you had such a vivid imagination. A lot about me you don't know. Increased production. Yes, I heard you. By how much? 15% would be ideal. That won't be easy. Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way. You're very resourceful. His death in a transporter Accident was most unfortunate. And still under investigation. A very thorough investigation that has found no evidence of foul play. I knew there was something wrong with him from the moment we met. He lacked your appetite for cruelty. He's a disgrace to me and all Vorta. Cardassia has risked too much, suffered too much. I will not stand by and let all of our plans, all of our dreams for the future end in defeat just to spare the life of one shapeshifter. 